Okay, everyone. I'm the instructor of CSUM. I'll explain to you an operation process and some instructions of the GC subsystem. First, after you enter the website, is such an interface, and then click login. Enter your account and password. After logging in, there is such an interface. First, the most important value is the result summary. The cumulative total shareholder return is the ranking of your competition results. You can see that there are three values in this. The first is the minimum value of the competition, the second is the maximum value of the competition, and the third is your results. The minimum and maximum values of this competition do not include your results. Then the activity, what is the activity, is who submitted the decision at what time. So this is not important. Okay, let's now look at the schedule interface. This is the deadline for the first round. This is the deadline for the second round. During this period, students make the second round of decisions. This is the description of the schedule. Okay, then we enter the decision interface. First, here is a quick tutorial, which is some simple processes. I won't describe this too much. You can check and understand by yourself. Then click on the market outlook. This is very important. The market outlook is the first place you should observe every round. You can see a change of each product in the three markets through the market outlook. The costs are not only the production cost, but also the cost of tax and so on. Various cost changes will be displayed here. Finance is also important, because you can see some changes in interest rates and taxes, as well as changes in the currency exchange rate here. Demand interface, you can see that this is a blue cell. What does the blue cell mean? That is, how much you really sell has nothing to do with this. This is just a forecast value, which has an impact on your estimated results. Of course, the value you fill in should be as accurate as possible. Okay, let's see the market shares. First, you can see that you can only sell two products in any of the three markets, and if you want to produce this product, you need to develop this product first. If you don't have it, you can't sell it. Then we look at the prediction of network coverage forecasts. Here we can see a predicted change in the network coverage of several technologies, which is also a prediction of the trend of technology. You can judge what kind of technology to sell in which market by observing the network coverage. Here is also more important. Okay, let's look at the production interface. The production is divided into three parts, planning, inventory and investments. Okay, now let's look at production planning. There are two situations. The first is that your teacher has set up inventory, and the second is that there is no inventory. If it is with inventory, there will be an inventory interface option here. This is have inventory here. So we will have a value of beginning investor here. If there is no inventory, there will be an overproduction data here. It means that if you overproduce, the factory will not produce excess products, but this also has costs. If you estimate that there is too much production but the actual sales volume is too low, the production cost of your technology will increase. This should be avoided as much as possible. Then there are in-house manufacturing and contract manufacturing. The production cost of in-house manufacturing will be reduced with your continuous production, 
which will not always be a particularly high state. There is an upper limit on the number of contract manufacturing, and this upper limit is constantly changing every round. And as you outsource more, the cost of each outsourced product will also decrease. Then look at the investments. The investments is also divided into several parts. Look at this demand estimates. This is your actual sales volume in the last round, and this is the predicted sales volume in this round. This value depends on your predicted values in the three markets. Then in the next round, here is the blue cell, which is the predicted value. Then the capacity part, which is the part of the new factory, also has a parameter change. Some teachers said that the new factory in this round can be put into use in the next round. But some teachers said that the new factory in this round can be put into use in the next two rounds. The time of paying factory fees also depends on your teacher's settings. Then R&D interface, R&D here also depends on how your teacher sets it. If your teacher sets up human resources, then here will be the number of days of employees required. If your teacher does not set it, it needs a real fund. There is no setting here. In-house development budgets are determined per technology on the upper part of the page. Own R&D has a one-period delay before the technologies and features become available for production. There is a decreasing marginal benefit in increasing the budget. That is, it is cheaper to develop the technology incrementally during many rounds than to try to get it to production stage in one round. You can complement own R&D by buying technology and design licenses. Whereas own R&D has a one-period delay, license purchases make the technologies and features available immediately. This is a one-time payment that gives the rights for the technologies and features indefinitely. OK, look at marketing interface. There are three markets, each with two products. There are many ways to adjust products, such as the number of functions, selling price and promotion expenses, which will affect the sales of products, and you need to balance them. The setting of specific parameters should refer to the changes of the market, your own situation and other factors. You can't just focus on yourself. Therefore, there is no template in the CSIM system, and every round of changes are very large. It should be noted that the decision-making system developed by our team has been formed and improved after tens of thousands of deductive processes. Through the data input of each round of the overall market, we can get the planning decisions that are most in line with this round. This decision is optimal, so if you need our help, please send us an email according to the email on the screen. And we guarantee that you will win the first place in the same market. Well, let's look at the logistics interface. Priorities. Here are four technologies from the United States and Asia. Each technology can choose different logistics methods. For example, this is to give priority to the United States, Europe and finally Asia. You can adjust it according to your own situation. Then there is the logistics cost between different regions. For example, this means that American product 2 costs $29.6 per piece to ship to Europe. Then let's take a look at the tax interface, which is also very important. In this interface, the only thing you can adjust is transfer pricing. With transfer pricing, you can move your profits between different subsidiaries. Now look at the financial interface. Finance is the top priority here. First, let's look at equity and debt. 
The following are the two indicators of the previous round and this round. The last round was accurate, but this round is based on your prediction, not the actual situation. Long-term loan. If your company is short of funds, you can make a long-term loan here to obtain funds. It should be noted that the maximum loan limit per round is 1 million KUS dollars. This is the interest rate. The interest rates of various regions are shown here. Students can refer here to determine the allocation of funds between regions. Share capital is also very important here. You can obtain financing by issuing shares, or increase the share price and ranking by repurchasing shares and issuing dividends. Then look at the internal loan at the end of the financial interface. The main function here is to allocate funds between regions, which is very important. Well, students, this is a simple explanation about the global challenge system. If you still don't understand or want to get the first place and get higher scores, you can contact us through the email address on the screen. We will help you make the best decision.